Newton's third law. Have you ever wondered how a space shuttle is able to lift off the ground, even though its rockets are pushing downward? This can be explained using Newton's third law. law says that for every action there is an equal and opposite reaction. Have you ever accidentally bumped into a wall or door only to find yourself falling backwards? This is because while you are exerting a force in the wall, the wall is exerting a force back on you. The forces are equal but opposite. They are the same amount of force, however one force is acting on the wall and the other force is acting on you. Newton's third law is different than net force. See, net force is when you add all the forces, but they're acting on the same object. Newton's third law says you have equal and opposite forces, and they're acting on different objects. The forces always act in pairs, but the pairs are not always acting on the same object. Here we have compression from the boy sitting down onto the books and the books are doing normal force back up onto the boy. These pairs are called action and reaction forces. So we have the action of compression and the reaction of normal. You can feel the effect of Newton's third law in baseball. When the pitcher throws the ball, the hitter hits the ball with the bat. The force of the bat on the ball causes that ball to change direction and move in the opposite direction. However, that ball also exerts a force back on the bat and causes the bat to vibrate. This is why they teach you to grip the bat tight so that your hands don't feel the force of the vibration. I remember one time when I was learning to do softball and I didn't, and when I hit that ball, the vibration that was happening in the bat caused me to drop the bat because I hurt my hands so much. The acceleration of the object is dependent upon the force acting on the object and its mass. Now when you push off of a small boat to walk onto the deck, the boat pushes back on you. The small mass of the boat will cause you to move the boat backwards with your force. However, if you push off of a large ferry to get onto the deck, that ferry is hardly going to move at all because it's so massive it's not going to feel the effect of your force. Let's see what happens in regards to bumper cars. The yellow bumper car and the blue bumper car have the same mass. So what will happen if they hit each other with the same force? Since they have the same mass and force, they will move backwards with the same speed. The yellow bumper car and this blue bumper car again have the same mass. But this time the blue bumper car is not moving. So what will happen if the yellow bumper car hits it? Since they have the same mass, the action force that the yellow puts onto the blue will cause it to move backward, and the blue's reaction force on the yellow will cause it to stop. Here the yellow bumper car has a smaller mass than the blue bumper car. The blue bumper car is not moving, so what will happen if the yellow bumper car hits it now? The yellow car's action force will cause the blue car to slowly move backwards due to its large mass. The blue car's reaction force, though, will cause the yellow car to move in the opposite direction at a faster speed due to its smaller mass. The yellow bumper car has a smaller mass than the blue bumper car. This time, it's the yellow bumper car that's not moving. So what will happen if the blue bumper car hits it? The action force the blue bumper car will cause the yellow car to move backwards. The reaction force from the yellow onto the blue will slow the speed of the blue car. Here the yellow bumper car has a smaller mass than the blue bumper car. What will happen though if they hit each other going at the same speed? As you can see, it will cause the blue bumper car to stop and the yellow bumper car will move backwards. Let's review. Two ice skaters of equal mass push off each other. How will they move? 
They're both going to move back at the same speed. Now you have an ice skater pushing off someone with boots on. Now they both have the same mass. How are they going to move this time? As you can see, the skater will move backwards while the one in boots will not move due to the force of friction holding them in place. Finally, two ice skaters of different masses push off of each other. How will they move? They're both going to move back. However, the one with the smaller mass is going to move back faster than the one with the larger mass. Thank you for watching another Adventures in iSTEM and Beyond video. Don't forget to subscribe and turn on notifications for more Adventures in iSTEM and Beyond videos. For more ideas on how to incorporate science, technology, and skills for life into your classroom, go to adventuresinistem.com.